In today's video, I go broke to literally zero dollars. I have no money left because of this house, but we build a $30,000 two-story budget house in Bloxburg. It's a modern styled house and it has some blush to it too. So I guess you could say it's like a blush modern house. There's not too much blush. Don't worry. It's not overwhelming. I promise. <laughs> literally have no money in Bloxburg right now. So please, I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> so despite my <laughs> current balance, I really like the outcome of this house and I really enjoyed building it as well. So I think it's pretty nice i love the modern colors i love the modern look and everything yeah so we have mid gray dark zone gray and white throughout this build those are the primary colors we were using and then of course as i said before we use some seashell not too much like i'll show you once we get inside it's not crazy like i promise and if you don't like the color pink or whatever you don't want to use blush you don't have to just replace it with like a white or some gray we only use it for like some basic decorations we didn't use it for like any furniture really so yeah this is a little cute seating area in your living room i love this living room it feels so cozy i love it so i love these windows too with these curtains they're so pretty and then we have some cool paintings yeah that was pretty nice i love those this little entrance way pretty nice yeah and then this is the garage we don't have to worry about that though so this is the kitchen i love this kitchen it's pretty nice i love the colors though i think that's what i really like most about this kitchen yeah pretty nice we have some appliances some cheap ones we have like this microwave the stove fridge toaster coffee maker if you rebuild this and decide you want to add more you can i just obviously literally have no money left so yeah and this is your little dining table so i placed that with the kitchen save some room but this build is really spacious as you can tell so it's great for role plays like look at all the space to walk around yeah it's a great low budget like role play house it has all the necessary items you need to boost your mood so you can use it as a starter house as well for example we're in the bathroom right now so we have the toilet we have a sink some role play items like the toothbrush and then a shower of course so that's really nice so let's go up the stairs now this is where I started to run out of money so please excuse this bathroom it's a bit empty compared to our last one but it still has a shower a toilet and it has a sink and this really nice lamp I love this lamp I'm gonna use that more often <laughs> yeah we have a nice view too so that's awesome you could close the shutters too all the bathroom window haters press E and there you go <laughs> just close that curtain okay so yeah don't look at this hallway oh my gosh I was going to place some wall trim and some paintings and some plants over there but obviously I couldn't really do that so go ahead and do that if you have more money though so this is the first bedroom this is like a teen room once again so spacious you have a desk you have a dresser the bed all the necessary items that you need in a bedroom so it's perfect so spacious look at all this room you can just walk around and role play like that's so nice so let's go to our final room which is this master bedroom once again it's really spacious you have a dresser again the bed of course some nice paintings great view these windows are beautiful yeah look at this more room to walk around so spacious you can zoom out if my literal pipe fits in this house you know what i mean that means it's a great role play house so yeah so while this is a budget house it still is really nice it's a really nice role play house starter home mood station whatever you want to call it and it's two stories so it's even more spacious with more rooms i guess i have a love-hate relationship with this house though because i have no money left from it but it's okay i'll go work now so <laughs> i do really like it and i hope you guys do as well so we're gonna start building right now watch me go broke <laughs> to zero dollars get comfy get a snack and let's start building okay so here's our layout so this is the first floor the pink lines and the second floor is represented by these blue lines so yeah we're gonna start off on the first floor as always and we're gonna place the walls down so guys this is our first build of 2024 how exciting is that we're gonna start two four five squares back and we're gonna place four walls across to the right and we're gonna be using mid gray with the horizontal planks material so the interior wall color i think we're gonna go with mid gray basically using mid gray white and then dark stone gray so we're gonna place two walls back and then two to the right and then go down one and then three to the right and then we're just gonna fill the rest of this layout in so back two four six seven times to the left two four six eight nine times and then down two four six eight times like that upstairs we go this time let's start over here we're gonna start two four six seven squares back we're gonna place one to the right and then we're gonna go down one but we're gonna recolor this wall to the white with the concrete material so we can just place two to the right and then go back one and then we're gonna go back to our mid gray walls so to the right by one and then back one to the right by two and then down one and then to the right by three and then back two four six times and then to the left two four six eight nine times and then go back down to where we started two 
for six times so this is what it looks like let's get the interior walls done with though because i want to show you what the rooms are going to be so we're going to start over here four squares over from this wall we're going to place three down make sure it's colored mid gray all around and then four to the left this is going to be one bedroom and then two walls down right here this will be another bedroom over here this one wall and then three to the right this will be a bathroom and this is going to be the hallway because the stairs will be right here so downstairs these two walls and then these four walls are going to be for the garage right here and these four walls are going to finish off this kitchen and the dining room right here so kitchen dining room like that and then these three walls and two walls <laughs> this is going to be the bathroom for the first floor so the stairs will be placed here we'll get to those once we work on the interior so this will also be the living room by the way and this is the entrance area foyer kind of thing so that's it two bedrooms two bathrooms and this budget house so let's grab the roof so we're going to work on the roof for the first floor which is going to be the slanted roof so you're going to turn on manual placement and we're going to start on this bottom left corner we're going to go to the right four times and then go up two to the left by one and then you're going to go down one to the left by two up one and then to the left by one like that i'm going to change grid sizes and then if you increase its size it's actually like cheaper so i recommend doing that to save money as this is a budget house so we're going to color this roof the dark stone gray that i was talking about with these shingles because i love this material i think it's so nice i use this for my like concrete and pavement sometimes but today it'll be for the roof so the ceiling i think is going to be white with the ceiling tiles i also love those for my ceiling texture as well so copy this slanted roof and once again make sure that manual placement is on and we're going to fill in this area over here so it might be easier to start on the far right side in this bottom right corner and then go to the left five times right here you could turn off the roof so that you could see a bit better and then you're going to go up twice and then to the right by two and then down one and then to the right by three like that so you could turn your roof back on and then once again raise it up a bit because we want to save the money so there you go kind of cool right so upstairs we go we're finished with the slanted roof so we're going to grab a new roof now which is going to be the gable roof so once again manual placement let's start on the right side of the house this is i think easier so you're basically just going to start on the bottom right corner and then go all the way back to the top right corner and then go to the left by five grids and then go down two four five times and then to the right by two and then down one like that that's pretty straightforward right so yeah once it's like this i wouldn't recommend adjusting its size because it's going to be pretty expensive no matter what you do like no matter what direction you go so i would just place it down and then recolor it to the roof that we've been using and that's it so copy that gable roof again we're gonna go to the left side manual placement again this time you can start right here at this bottom left corner to the right by two and then all the way back to the end of the wall and then to the left by two like that you could raise it up once if you'd like it is a bit cheaper and then you could just color it white with the concrete to match the wall and now we're gonna finish off with the gable roof so manual placement and we're gonna start at the bottom left corner here we're gonna go all the way to the right to this bottom right corner then you can go back by three and then to the left by three you could increase its size a bit it is cheaper like this and place it down now for this area you could just place this roof like this and that or you could use the flat roof because that will save you a lot of money i think i'm gonna leave it like that though for now so that's it the exterior walls and roof it's all finished you know now we just have to place the windows and the doors which is so easy so don't worry real quick before we leave the second floor i want to grab this ordinary square chimney because i think it just looks nice right here i hate this like empty space between these two roofs like i hate that you know so i really like to use the chimneys covered up so we can just color that like white gray and that's it yeah i like it okay and we didn't like spend too much money either which is good okay we're gonna try to keep that up this is a really fun challenge okay <laughs> also i'm broke so i kind of do want to save some money anyway let's place the windows so we'll start on the first floor so we're gonna use this bay window this is kind of expensive but it's okay it kind of hurt a bit it's all right so we're gonna color this part gray and then we're gonna color the roof white and then i want to go with like a seashell hue it's like a light pinkish kind of white kind of color and then i'm gonna color the pillows pink i kind of want to make this like have a hint of blush here and there so like a modern blush kind of house i have received some requests for one so maybe we'll just do hints if you don't want to make them pink you can make them white or gray so let's place the windows here on the second floor i want to use the large factory windows these are pretty cheap we're going to color them white with the smooth plastic and then the seashell hue again and then we're going to grab some shutters so we can use like the classic shutters and i'm going to color them dark stone gray and then white with the smooth plastic like that okay not bad and then the window right here i'm gonna use the triple curved window and place that there recolor it no shutters though this one won't have any shutters but this one will so this time we're gonna use a smaller curved window and place that right here on this wall and then recolor it and grab those shutters and there you go cool right so those are all the windows 
windows we'll be using. So let's grab the doors. The front door is gonna be this traditional door. I love using this door <laughs> a lot. I like the one with the windows the most, but that's a bit expensive, so we're not gonna do that. But we're just gonna color it white and then gray, the dark stone gray that we've been using. So over here, this is gonna be the garage, and we're gonna use the cheapest double garage door. Oh, actually, this one's cheaper, but like it's kind of ugly. Sorry. So I want to use the wooden garage door instead, and I'm gonna color it dark stone gray. Dark stone gray again, this time with like the smooth plastic, and then we're gonna go with a white with the vertical planks material because I want to use that in this build and then a seashell hue again and yeah that's it let's just grab some wall trim we're actually doing kind of okay with the money so we're gonna use like the really cheap flat crown molding and obviously we're gonna place that on each wall also I'm probably not gonna place pillars down because I'm trying to save money but if you want to you can you don't really need pillars in a house to make it look nice you know what I mean I feel like everyone always thinks that pillars are like necessary in builds I don't think they are though I think it looks nice without them so let's grab the bottom wall trim which will be this short rail molding and we're gonna color it the white i want to try dark stone gray which it already is perfect with the brick material because we have some bricks going on right so that's it i like it i think it's nice let's just grab some light so i love using this realistic looking outdoor wall lamp and it's pretty cheap so i'm gonna use probably the wheat for my lighting in this build it's like a yellow kind of glow i love it i love yellow and then i'm probably gonna place one on this roof right here like the top of it and then this one as well and that's it look at how much brighter the build is it's looking so nice i love it let's just grab like the walkway and then the driveway so we're gonna place a floor down and then we can go inside and start decorating to save money i'm just gonna use a concrete material and i'm not gonna bother recoloring it because it's already colored this gray and then we're just gonna make that simple walkway and that's it so if you want to you could outline it with like the plain short fence we could just color it white and then we could place like two down right here to like separate the driveway and the walkway but we don't have to do much else so yeah the only thing thing is this area is pretty empty so if you want to if you don't have like a neighborhood and you can't change the grass color because this ugly snow is here you could place a floor down and then color it like a green and then use a grass material oh that looks so nice and refreshing oh my gosh because this snow is kind of like blinding me I'm not gonna lie the new textures yeah so <laughs> i kind of like this seeing the grass again you know so you could place some grass around and then make it feel more lively basically also the grass is like super cheap so and some bushes that are really affordable as well I feel like we should place a tree though. We could place this ugly kind of tree right here. It's not ugly, but it's just like, you know, a bunch of blocks. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna refrain from placing flowers because I really want to, but I want to save money. Okay, what if we do one sunflower? Because that's my favorite flower. You don't have to do this. If you don't have the gardening skills unlocked, you don't have to place this plant. I just want to do that. It's my little touch. Yeah, so basically everything is placed. Let's go work on the interior now. First, we have to start off by placing the floor. So I think every room is gonna have the same floor. I usually like to make different flooring for like the bathroom and stuff but you know budget house you can't really do that so we're gonna use probably the oyster with the vertical planks because oysters kind of like blush it looks kind of like blush i don't know you know what i mean so let's work over here this is going to be the living room the foyer area yeah so i think we can place a welcome mat it's 50 dollars. that's incredibly cheap i mean maybe not in real life but like in blocks where yes that is so we can just do that really easy what i place near my doorways usually a hat stand because that's really cheap again or like i'll do a plant maybe i mean okay should we do a plant i mean it's january but like it's blocks work so it doesn't really matter like i really have been wanting to make like spring and floral homes lately because i was going through my 2023 builds in my recent video go check it out if you haven't yet and i was going through my spring homes and i kind of want to build spring homes again now with flowers and plants so i'll just do one to like satisfy myself but that's it that's pretty cheap so over here what we're gonna do first is grab a carpet we're gonna grab this outlined rounded carpet and place that in the center of this room then we're gonna grab a fireplace so we're gonna grab like a cheap one the basic fireplace like that now we're gonna grab a cheap couch oh i just realized i forgot to place the stairs once we place this couch i'll place the stairs so this simple sofa it's actually so nice for what it's worth like it looks really nice for just a hundred dollars i don't know you can decorate it to make it look so much nicer than what it already looks and it's so cheap i feel like Bloxburg underestimated this couch when they were <laughs> making the price for it it's not as ugly as i think <laughs> anyway the stairs we're going to use are these classic u stairs the left one specifically we'll place that right over here in this corner on that yellow line don't worry about that i just placed those markings so you can see like the layout and the stairs and everything so we could color this couch let's go with dark stone gray and some white and then the carpet could stay white let's just give it a new material this one's fancy and then this could be dark stone gray and the fireplace is pretty good let's just go with the dark stone gray the fire itself we can go with like a yellowish color so that's good and up here we'll place a tv so we have 
enough to place one down we can do this like small one because it's cheap if you want to use like a bigger one if you have more money go ahead but yeah we're on a budget we've spent about ten thousand dollars so far so not terrible so i'm just gonna place some decorations really cheap ones like a plant maybe a mug some books and then with the books i usually color them like this color scheme of the house itself so i go with dark stone gray i go with like some white mid gray and then like lush pink yeah oh also i wanted to place a center table this rustic end table i love these tables so we can place that down i think the wood material is gonna be the wood grain i love that material i guess we could also place like a candle how about this square candle oh that's actually kind of modern you know what i mean i think it is like it looks cool i've never used it before i actually like the way it's colored it's colored linen so we can leave it like that okay this area is your little like seating area can you place a carpet down i don't know if that's too much but i think it looks nice is that weird like two carpets no i think it's cool right oh we should also place windows so we were using the factory windows a lot so we could always just place one factory window here and then one over here and then we can grab curtains so are these plain curtains like terrible maybe we'll make them look nice if we use a foil texture with seashell i think white actually looks better you know what i actually don't think that's too bad and we could place something behind the tv a painting because there's some empty space back here and i hate empty space on my wall so that's nice i like that this living room isn't too bad so far i think we even have enough to place like some plants i haven't used plants in a while actually because i've been building so many seasonal homes i kind of miss them they take up so much empty space <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it for this living room. We have to save our money because we have more rooms to work on. Oh gosh, I want to place paintings over here though. Like that's the only thing. Maybe we can afford one painting. I have to stop like adding things. Maybe a tall- Ooh, wait, that's like modern. I don't think I've ever used this before. I use like the more expensive ones. That's why I'm always going broke. <laughs> this one's cheap, but it looks nice. I think we can do that. Oh, wait, these two? Wait, 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 I have an idea. Let's place another one. This wide one above this sitting area thingy because I think that would actually look cool. Now we're done with this room, actually. So we need to grab some door frames so the plain double door frame so easy so cheap we'll place one here and that's pretty much it because this is gonna be a door we can just grab that now we're gonna use the plain door because yeah we need to save that money so plain door right here for the bathroom and then if you want yeah why not you know what let's place one right here for the garage because it takes up some wall space <laughs> it actually looks better i think there we go now let's go over here to the kitchen so we're gonna use the basic counters guys they're a hundred dollars they're so cheap so we need them and we can make them look nicer like they don't look bad as is i think we can actually leave it dark stone gray and we can color this white maybe if we want to give it like a material definitely not ice blocks i don't know why i did that you know what maybe we'll just leave it white okay so you could place one over here place two right here you'll see why go to appliances and then we're gonna grab a basic stove and we're gonna place that right here and then move this counter right over here and then grab a fridge to place right here i think that's a nice little setup so we're gonna color the stove white and then obviously the dark stone gray we want it to match and the fridge i mean i guess you could just change the texture to smooth plastic and that's about it don't do that if you want to save money though okay let's grab the cabinets now we're pretty good money i'd say i think so so we're gonna use the basic shaker cabinets i guess we can use the tall ones they're pretty much colored as they should be we can just change this to white make sure to place a cabinet though because we want to place some appliances in there okay that's pretty nice right so the appliances you could place in here maybe a microwave you know what i think you should place a microwave i feel like that's used often at least by me my food always gets cold i'm cold right now it's freezing out it's like almost below freezing okay anyway <laughs> place other appliances that you use like i don't use a coffee maker actually no i do i use a coffee maker to make hot chocolate i actually haven't had hot chocolate in so long like and it's winter like this is the time of year i should be having it this is the only time of year i could have it actually <laughs> i kind of want some now you know what after this i was planning to play splatoon so i'll probably make some hot chocolate yeah that sounds good just place whatever appliances you want to use i'm using the really cheap ones you can even grab like a storage shelf to place right here i do this a lot and then i place some appliances and other like decorations up here it saves you room so that you can actually cook food on the counters is this new oh whoa that's nice i'm not gonna use it though <laughs> i'm gonna use the hanging utensils instead i use these often as well oh very modern yeah oh wait can we place windows i think we can place these windows just minus the curtains so we save money oh and it takes up wall space no that looks nice i like that yeah we're gonna do that we can also grab that like plant over here in this corner it's a bit 
bear. Okay, not bad. But this area, if you couldn't tell, this is supposed to be like little island kind of thing. So I want to place some stools down so you could sit here and have a snack or whatever. Maybe these simplicity stools because they're $30 <laughs> and just color them like gray. Like that's kind of nice. Maybe just two. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, honestly, this kitchen is fine. Like we have enough appliances. You could place more, like I said. I don't think we really need to decorate it too much. Leave the counters open so you can actually cook food. I will grab this painting over here though. You can have a beautiful painting to look at while you eat. But yeah, this should be fine. So we're gonna need light, but we'll do that in a second. First, let's do the dining table. But maybe because we use like square logs, we'll just use like this square table. Plus it's $60. Oh my gosh. Like, yeah, we need to save that money. So a gray square table. You know what? No, that's actually modern. Like that looks modern. This is what like you would see in a modern house. And then we could just use those square stools. <laughs> that looks kind of funny, but it's nice, I think. And then we need a centerpiece. We do a flower because we placed one already by the front door. That's nice. That looks modern. Modern flowers, modern flower holder, modern table, modern square chairs, modern plants. Okay, I think I'm going too far now. <laughs> we need light, definitely. How about we go with like a plain chandelier? Cause it looks nice. It's already colored dark stone gray. Yeah, look at how bright it is. We could color it to wheat to make it brighter. Nice, okay. You know what, we need to place the floor cause this looks really weird. Do you mind if we place the floor real quick? Sorry, I should have done that before. Just go upstairs and we're just gonna place it everywhere. Except for over here, you can't block off the stairs or else you literally can't access the second floor. So don't do that. Place it down and then color it the white with the ceiling tiles and that's it. Yeah, that actually looks a lot better. <laughs> okay, so I think over here we can grab those pretty windows again for the dining table. Maybe some more plants. They're pretty cheap, I'd say. Like this one, this is tall, takes up more space, which is good. Marble texture, very modern, love marble. Big empty wall right here, which is not nice. I don't like that. So maybe painting here, and then maybe we can get away with like a bookshelf? Large oak bookshelf. We'll have to fill it in with like books. <laughs> if we color it, just white. We already have books colored too, so copy those so you don't have to recolor books and then like waste money. So that's good. That's actually a really good start. So just place a few. And then if you don't want to place too many books, you could save money and place some paper instead. Like paper's literally $25. I mean, <laughs> that is so cheap. Because it's a kitchen, you could place like tableware like this, like bowls in here maybe. I feel like that would make sense. Maybe pink bowls. Yeah. Fine dining with pink bowls, pink plates. Yeah, that's fine. That's better. That takes up some of that empty space because that was not nice. Oh, or should it be gray instead? Because that kind of looks sharp with the tables. All right, sorry. I won't change anything else, I promise. That's it though. That's it for this room. So the kitchen is finished. Not bad. Lots of walking space. So here, this is going to be the bathroom, but it's kind of empty. So we could place a table actually. We could do like the rustic coffee table because we did like the mini version over here. And then you could just place like books again or whatever you'd like, honestly. I'm just going to place books. And then maybe a small plant. This one's nice. Modern texture, which is the marble. That's good. Oh, we actually might need some light. Maybe we should grab a lamp. Uh, does this look modern? Oh, wait. I think this could look modern. <gasps> wait, that's such a pretty glow. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're so leaving that. We're not going to change it. I love that yellow glow. This is actually colored like perfectly. Look at that. It's so bright and yellow. I love that. We could probably get away with adding like a clock up here. I think that definitely fits the modern style. I don't think it's too expensive. We're down to $11,000. So I think we're pretty safe for now. We just have a bathroom down here and then we're done with the first floor. Two bedrooms and one more bathroom. I think we can get away with this so let's move on to this bathroom so we're gonna start off with the toilet obviously we can place it in this corner and then just grab the toilet paper and the trash can so over here we can place a shower let's color this seashell with the foil i love that material and then we could place like a sink maybe right here this is a modern sink this is actually like my favorite sink to use so that actually fits perfect with this bathroom we don't really have to recolor it either it's pretty good so you could just grab obviously like the soap towels like a toothbrush nice we could probably get away with like a small mirror pretty cheap now over here we could probably use a plant nice maybe two maybe two plants you know what why not we deserve it we've been doing well so far i've been inching this toilet over <laughs> to the left side of the room instead of the right i don't know why i'll just leave it over here now so that's what this bathroom looks like so far <laughs> we probably grab like a bathroom mat just add something yeah i think we could use that definitely i won't place windows because nobody likes windows in bathrooms apparently so we'll just leave it like this not 
not terrible. All right, first floor is all finished. Let's color these stairs real quick. So we have to make them oyster and then you can color this part mid gray because it matches like the walls. And then if you want to place a basic railing right here, um, this isn't like that expensive. I think it's pretty affordable, but we're going to need to do the same thing right here because this is, yeah, like hazardous. Now that should be all good. So yeah, the stairs look cool from there. Upstairs, we have about $8,000 left. I think we can do this. Let's just make sure we grab that door because I totally forgot about that. So we're going to place one right here for the bathroom, one here for that bedroom and then another one for this bedroom. So let's take a break for the bathroom. We can work on a bedroom now since we just made a bathroom. So let's make the bed. Let's do the modern single bed. It has modern in its name and it's cheap. So we'll place that there. Um, Let's see, let's color it seashell. Let's color this like dark stone gray. We could even go downstairs and grab that carpet that we were using for the living room, place that there. And we could add like a side end table kind of thing, like a nightstand. This one looks nice and probably an alarm clock and then maybe a plant. I'm gonna copy the ones from down downstairs so i don't have to recolor them and then like waste more money yeah this is a big bedroom this is spacious good for role plays which means we have more room for like a nice dresser so we could do this oak wardrobe it matches with the bookshelf that we were using downstairs so we're gonna color it white and then obviously we have to make this like seashell and that's pretty much it okay yeah i feel like that looks good right over here we could always place like something a plant in this corner you know what plants are really saving this build honestly the empty spaces and stuff these plants are coming in clutch yeah that's not bad i like that i think we're gonna place a nice window the one that we've been using of course right here above the bed oh my gosh this is gorgeous i love that we definitely need some more i think over here though so over here above the bed itself i'm gonna place a painting with like a shelf and then just like a book like that so this corner right here it's a bit empty so i think we could place a desk and then color it gray and then go downstairs and grab those gray stools again and then just decorate it with some papers pens i would place down like a computer but yeah we don't have enough money for that like we're not doing that i'm also gonna to take that candle from the living room place that right next to the paper so it catches on fire okay i think i'm also gonna place this window right here one more painting and we're done with this room kind of empty <laughs> you have enough walking space though oh my gosh this is so empty we need windows over here wait oh no we don't have enough money for like anything we're at four thousand guys this isn't good i'm kind of sweating let's work on the master bedroom because that's gonna be most expensive we're gonna use a modern double bed okay let's place that over here we're gonna use that carpet again right here the dresser can be right here gray with the white i am taking that lamp again and we're placing it there that is just so beautiful these windows are so pretty they're also really cheap so that's great so we have the dresser we have the bed so over here we have a really empty wall so we're gonna grab a painting this time we're gonna place like three <laughs> yeah we'll make it look nice oh my gosh what is this this roof no no we need plants plants please help cover this up oh my gosh guys a thousand dollars are we gonna make it no no we'll be fine i know it. i trust i trust us I'm recoloring the walls to white with the brick material so it looks nicer. That makes the room <laughs> look like, I guess, less empty, you know? All right, both of these rooms have plenty of walking space, so that's great. We have $1,000 to finish this bathroom. All right, we're gonna do this. Guys, I'm kind of scared. I think we got this. I believe in us. So we have the toilet. We're gonna need to copy the toilet paper and then the trash can. We're at an even $1,000 left to finish this bathroom. Can we do it? Can we pull it off? Hopefully. So we're gonna need this really cheap shower shower this is kind of ugly but if we place it right here and then we just color it pink with the foil material i probably shouldn't have done that that's <laughs> unnecessary but wait if we go downstairs we grab sink nope it's too expensive don't do that just kidding we're gonna need to place one down this one industrial sink 300 dollars. yes we could do that color this to like the brown white because that matches okay okay now we have enough money we have 400 dollars. we got this so just grab like the soap right that's so good let's grab a towel we don't really have much left so we're we're gonna grab a lamp we have enough for this beautiful lamp we have 50 dollars left <laughs> can we even place like can we place anything anything like no we can't place anything really okay you know what this bedroom this bedroom doesn't need that plant <laughs> this bathroom deserves it more okay yeah now that looks better right yeah i don't have enough for this carpet but i have enough for the welcome mat <laughs> wait if i place this welcome mat i am literally gonna have zero dollars left we could do this place it upside down and then you could hide the text no one's gonna know that it's a welcome mat oh my gosh I'm broke. <laughs> I have zero dollars left. I don't remember the last time that's happened to me. <laughs> 
That's actually really funny. Oh my gosh. This house made me go broke. I have no money left. I would love to place some plants over here. Technically, you don't need anything in hallways because they're only meant for you to walk through. Realistically, we could actually get away with having no plants in here. It just feels a bit empty to me. I was planning to place some wall trim paintings and then some plants in these corners. But yeah, we really don't need them. So you know what? I think this build is a success. I really can't do anything more. So this is the second floor. We have the bedrooms and we have the bathroom. That's literally the most important thing. We have all the rooms. We have another bathroom. We have a kitchen. These are more detailed. This house is far bigger and more spacious than my previous budget homes. So yeah, it's better for role plays and it's better for you to just move around in. Yeah, so we did it. I wish we could have added more to it, but it's okay. I have no money left, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll probably bulldoze this actually after I finish recording. I do like it a lot. I love the colors. Oh my gosh, that lamp really saved us there. I love that lamp. So yeah, I like it. It's nice and modern, has some blush to it. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you like this house. Do you think we succeeded in building a $30,000 budget house. I am going to have to start working now, so I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye!